It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders, and today we're going to be talking about solid almond toppings. Now, I know this topping is something that a lot of people already use, a lot of people might already have at least some understanding of, but I want to cover it in a lot more depth, because there might be certain things that certain players do not know, or even new players that want to understand about this topping better that just don't know yet. So, this is what I want to cover today. So, solid almond toppings, their main benefit of what they do is they give damage resistance. Now, damage resistance is the ability to resist a percentage of damage. So, to give an example, Holly Bear here has a 42.4 damage resistance percentage on her, and... She does have a small amount of defense, of course, and then her natural defense as well. So it's a little bit tough to gauge because of that defense, but we can go against an opponent and see what the average understanding of damage is that we take. And so we will take just Holly Berry. We won't make any other adjustments, and we will start with no toppings on so that it's just the defense the natural defense because every cookie has a defense so you can't get around that but just the natural defense and as you can see some hits are hitting for 2,000, 1,000, 4,000, 3,000 uh, it's anywhere between that range of 1,000 to 6,000 now in fairness this is an under leveled team so it's going to be hitting for lower numbers so that's why that's the numbers that we're getting hit for but as you can see with no toppings, we don't really do much. We take our full health amount of damage. So even with damage resistance on there, we'll probably take around this amount of damage too. But it's still good to see 628,000. That was our overall damage taken. Now, if we go back in and do it again, but this time we add the damage resistance of solid almonds, we will have different results. And I will show you that. So now this time, we're getting hit for things like 400, 700, 500, 2,000, 400, 2,000, 3,000, 2,000, 400, 500. So as you can see, it's scaled a lot of the hits down. It didn't take them down tremendously, but it did take them down um, almost half. So at least for some of the hits that we can see. We can't guarantee that each hit is respectively going down a guaranteed amount other than the 42%. And we got closer to winning that match with just Holly Berry, but we still didn't win it. And we took a little bit more damage. Now, the reason we took a little bit more is that we lasted longer. And since we lasted longer, we technically took more. So time equals damage per second or damage over time. And in addition, the spillover damage, so like when Holly Berry dies, if there's enough damage to overkill her, that will still count in that damage received section. So you got to consider that too. But what's important here is that the solid almond toppings, they have a cap. They have a hard cap. This was in patch notes, I believe, 1.3. And the cap is 85%. Now, with perfect solid almond toppings, which are 4.1% on their maximum upgrade and 6% on their substats, you can get about 10.1% per topping of damage resistance, which over five toppings is almost 51%. And then if you add the set bonus at the bottom that you see for having all five, 5%, you're going to get a total of 56%. And I'm going to redo that math just to be sure. 10% times 5 is 50. Yeah, 56%. So 56% total damage resistance at the absolute maximum that you can get off the toppings alone. There is one character currently in the game that gives damage resistance to your team for a limited time. And that is Strawberry Crepe. Strawberry Crepe gives 50% damage resistance to an entire team for 7 seconds. 
percent plus damage resist sorry eight seconds over eight seconds so eight seconds now here's why that's important if I'm running this at 42.4 percent and I use strawberry crepe in that team I am wasting a certain percentage from that cap and in this instance that would be about eight percent so I would have eight percent damage resistance that are just not useful at all to me now this is a hard judgment because if you're not going to be running strawberry crepe at all probably best to run solid almonds for your defensive units because then you know you can guarantee the maximum amount of defensive capabilities from that unit but if you're running strawberry crepe in your team you're gonna have a wasted value because look at this it's six percent damage resistance at the highest topping point you can get six percent on any other topping so if you need to have good damage resistance but you really want some other focus you can have strawberry crepe in the team with a low cooldown to get that damage resistance as much as possible from her and then 30 percent max on any other toppings on your unit so that way you still have a baseline but then you get up to 80 percent with strawberry crepe which means you're almost hitting that cap just with that alone and so that's that's an important thing too um so it it does come down to the team building and how you're going to set up the team but my my recommendation with the almonds is if you do not run strawberry crepe in the team or can't maybe just don't have her built or don't have her skill high enough run some almonds that way you can have some defensive power now here's how to get the most out of the almonds though and yet again this will come down to team building if you are running a defensive team damage resistance hp and defense are going to be your three highest building stats to make the most tanky units regardless of what typing they are if they are a shield or if they are a charge cookie they'll benefit from that subset more if they are a dps unit they'll still benefit it because they'll still have more survivability but of course they'll do less damage so you have to judge whether that will be good enough for you to take out the enemy team with that extra amount of defense and so it's it's you got to build the balance according to the team build if if it doesn't work with the team build it's just not going to work because you could think about it you could technically do damage resistance hp and defense for all five of your cookies have really tanky cookies that will survive longer but if you're not doing enough damage then that also gives longer chances for the enemy team to chip in huge hits against you which may nullify the whole point of you having an extra defense. And sometimes a good offense is a good defense. Kind of just depends. Hence why the scam teams kind of work sometimes. So take this topping as you will and how you think that it will be best used for you. But it is a good topping. It is a very meta topping right now. I think in a lot of specific builds, it can actually be outclassed. I think it is a good generic topping to use on every cookie that you want defensive structure on, but I don't think it is the end-all be-all of defensive toppings that is out there because of that hard cap that exists. Uh, because if you had 100% damage resistance and they didn't have the cap on it, you would never take any damage. So that exists for the sake that you can avoid a lot of damage if set up correctly. To do it correctly, you'll probably need strawberry crepe, or if new cookies come out that have damage resistance buffs. So please keep all that in mind when looking at these toppings, and also consider it is much harder to upgrade solid almonds and even other toppings to get that 6% damage resistance because it's such a variance, you have a 5% variance there that you have way more combinations of what you'll actually get. So getting really strong damage resistance on any toppings, even almonds, can take some time. So you may need to use almond toppings to begin with, 
for defensive capabilities because you may not be able to be quickly building searing and chocolate and peanut and walnut and kiwi toppings that have 6% damage resist in 5 slots. That's, that's pretty hard to pull off. If you get it, great. That's awesome. But these are just my tips and recommendations on that. Um, if you guys have anything you want to add, any input you want to let us know about that is on your mind, you know, please let us know in the comments. We are always happy to discuss it and talk about your thoughts. And I hope this is helpful for you. And have a wonderful day. Thank you.